plea for our ultimate farm life fix for Cloud's daughters was equal parts outback intrigue and rural romance. And one of the key players was local heartthrob Nick Ryan, played by Miles Pollard. My star. Yours. That one on the end of the saucepan. It's mine. Do we all get one? <laughs> yeah. Nice. A favourite on the small and silver screens. The actor's credits also include Home and Away and the X-Men franchise. But these days, Miles is headed back to the bush, lending his voice to a very passionate new project. And hey, Miles Pye joins us now live. Nice to see you. Hello. Thanks, Miles. How are you? McLeod's daughter is such a great backdrop, uh, you know, out on the farm there. What was it like for you being on set in the outback? Oh, look, it was an amazing opportunity. I've been working every day for five and a half, six years not just acting and working with great people, but riding motorbikes and riding horses. It was a real, yeah, amazing opportunity. Yeah, and some of the storylines were, were pretty full on. You mentioned riding horses and motorbikes and all that sort of thing as well. Was there any close calls behind the scenes on set? Oh, there was plenty of close calls. I mean, these were the, these were the days when actors got to do their own stunts. I, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think oh, we were, the good old days. The good old days before they realised we were a liability. <laughs> but, you know, the insurances all changed. I mean, it was the last show, I think, in Australia to be shot on film. Um, ah, okay. So it had a different sensibility, mm. lots of wide shots um, and, and more rehearsal time and everything's so fast now, it's so yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. So there's been lots of rumours about a McLeod's reboot, do you think we'll see the cast get back together anytime soon? Oh look, I wouldn't be surprised, I mean there's definitely a lot of chatter, I think since the show's been released in America on Amazon and it's, mm. it's gone gangbusters, so the conversation started again. Yeah. Um, I think there's plenty of storylines out there. Yeah, and such an amazing cast, and all of you have gone on to do some amazing things. You, you yourself, you've worked in some big films like X-Men Origins, uh, Wolverine, and also uh, Jasper Jones. Tell us about your new film, Danger Close. Yeah, Danger Close, uh, Chris Stenders directed it, uh, the Schwartz brothers produced it, and it's it's about the Battle of Long Tan. So it's a, a quintessential oh, Australian battle in, in yeah, Vietnam. Yes. Yes. I mean, it avoids all the politics. It's really about a bunch of mates who just are willing to die for each other. So it's very Australian. Mm. Uh, big budget, $30 million. Oh, wow. Yeah, which for Australia is huge. That's yeah. good. Um, so that comes out on August the 8th. Oh, good. We have a real history in this country, too, of doing war films very, very well, well don't we? Yeah. yeah, we do. We do. I mean, I think capturing just the, the heart and soul of it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah which is the heart and soul of our whole Look culture, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've lent uh, your voice to another project, a new project, an audio book. So what are you working on? It's a new challenge, yeah. It's yeah. The Brothers of Brigadier Station by Sarah Williams. Um, she's a, an award-winning novelist. It's done really well in America. Her whole series has done really well in America. It's very McLeod's-esque, set in the country, uh, small town, sensibilities, human stories, it's romantic fiction as well, mm -hmm. so it has hugely broad appeal, I think over 50% of all books that are made are within that genre, Okay. Uh, and audiobook, which is a, a really uh, growing um, sector. Yes, yep. uh, I think given how busy everyone is, to be able to still have a book but listen to it is amazing. That's it, that's Indeed. it. You, you've, you've had a chance, so I guess, work on your storytelling voice too, with <laughs> little ones. Is, is, yeah, that, is yeah, that how right. you've been able to, to get the, the tone just right from story oh, time? I've, I've had an active audience for many years. <laughs> Lots of different characters. <laughs> That's the best part of being a parent, I think, is sitting back and telling stories to your kids. But it's a completely different uh, process. I mean, the microphone's right here. Yeah. Mm. I mean, even talking now, we've got a lapel, so we yes. project, but playing multiple characters to someone who is listening on headphones is a really, it's an intimate sort of process. So it was a whole new skill set for me to learn from yeah. that. Uh, you got your uh, characters down pat. We know we saw this picture. It was on your Instagram. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Maybe some um, Ken and Barbie audio books. What, we, what, what else can you do? Uh, Ken, my wife, was going to be so chuffed that you put that on there. <laughs> that was someone's um, 40th birthday party. It was such a, such a blast. Uh, Ken and Barbie, did you say? Yeah, or, Ken and Barbie audio book. Oh, why not? <laughs> I think I know you're a very good actor, but I think the best thing you did it—you got the hands just yeah. right yeah. in there as well. I was, that, look at yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. No so singles on there at all. You were, you were commissioned to that, which I appreciate. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you bought her a Barbie, Barbie Dreamhouse after that as well. I'm going to have to after today. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. Thank you're welcome. You. Good to talk to you. And you can hear Miles Pollard on Sarah Williams' new audio book, *The Legacies of Brigadier Station*. It is out now. All right, stay with us. We've